Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. You're probably wondering why Nitro Kyosho is crawling around on the ground here. <laughs> well, I got my Align T-Rex 500 all set up uh, with the Beast X unit. And the book recommends doing this test on the ground before you take this thing outside. So what we're going to do is fire it up run it at all different RPMs, move the swash around, make sure it counters and works properly guys. So here we go. Let's fire up our transmitter, plug in our battery. Now the book recommends guys that you don't have any blades on this thing on the tail or the head. Some people have told me they didn't waste their time doing that and other people told me they had crashes resulting of, because of it. So we're going to try to do things the safe and the right way guys. We're going to fire this thing up. It's ready to go. And uh, let's see what happens with it. We're going to monitor the swash guys, the tail. I'm going to monitor these to make sure that these uh, servos counter each other. And for safety not that we needed, but I've got two 25 pound weights. Uh, I've got a towel going across the skids to protect them and then a board in there. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Obviously, it doesn't have any blades, but we don't need this thing to do anything stupid, guys. Safety first, okay? So let's fire this up and we're going to monitor the swash. guys what I was doing was checking that swash plate to tilt when I moved it left it had to counter right when I moved it right it had to counter back the other way it seems to be working properly now we're going to unplug it and uh, hopefully when we take it out for a test flight guys uh, we'll have something special on our hands Hopefully that flight will be soon. I don't know. Winter is approaching. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. And always remember, guys, safety first in this hobby. You do not want to get hurt by these machines. Thanks for watching. Let me just zoom in here a little bit for you. Uh, the reason the tape also is on there on the, the main uh, blade grips is because the nuts were still in the bottom and I didn't want to uh, try pulling them out. They're kind of hard to get out once they're in the, the blade grips. Uh, remember to lock tight everything and uh, you know like I said uh, safe flying to everybody out there and uh, you know happy flying. Be safe. Safety comes first in this hobby. You don't want to hurt anybody or yourself and end up getting you know, a, a negative attitude towards the hobby. So always be safe, guys, and I wish you all the best, and thanks for watching.